Hello and welcome to another Gundam Battle Operation 2 video, and that is the good old Gap Flea. And uh, I recorded a few videos uh, with it since I started to play it uh, again. Uh, it's a little bit rusty in some of the earlier videos I recorded. In this one, uh, I played a little bit later than my usual time to have to do something. And uh, only one, I only got to play with just Waylon. Uh, but in the, unfortunately, we get Mountain. But on the good side, it's uh, it's B side, which I prefer that side of mountain rather than A side. A side sucks every time I play A side, um, and we're gonna you know be a little bit aggressive, you know passive aggressive. <laughs> uh, it, it, the is a really it's an excellent suit, a really excellent suit. Yes, uh, for one, like like with the Humbrabi, you can practically snipe with his Fayadine rifle. And you can combo like a god with it, if you know what you're doing. Uh, though some people might find the shoulder cans a little bit awkward to use uh, in the middle of a fight or trying to stun lock somebody. I'm kind of fine with it. I'm going to jump in on this 7th uh, Gundam, which I'm fine with. As long as I can knock down that support, I'm doing fine. I guess I'm thinking, you know, I'm in Humbrabi mode because I have the Fayadine rifle and the, uh, the spear. But I'm just going in for right now. And uh, our team pushed up. Uh, I'm pushing up, doing some great work here, and uh, knocking down, oh, never mind, we're going to clash with the Zeta, and let's see what we can do, well, I'm going to get shot by both my, uh, my, my teammate, we're both going to get shot by him, and he's going to sneak in his downswing as soon as I stun him with my shoulder cannons, unfortunately, he has his biosensor, so he's going to be uh, boosted a little bit, but uh, he's going to get killed by me, try doing my side swing, but, oh man, I'm just getting stunned everywhere. That's a uh, Gerbera Tetra. I don't know what he's doing, but he's about to get, uh, well, he's going to tackle me. That's what's going to happen, and then I'm probably going to die, because the one moment I don't tackle somebody after uh, they tackle me, uh, <laughs> I get punished for it. It's funny. I always do a tackle afterwards, and then today I said, you know what? Maybe I'll try meleeing afterwards, and then I forgot, oh, yeah, he has priority, and it's the one time they actually attack uh, <laughs> so unfortunately that happened, but you know, we're gonna come back and get, uh, come back in again, it looks like a hopeless battle, 800 to 3,000, but, you know, I don't give up with the gap fleet, never do, <laughs> it's a, I'm gonna be a lot more aggressive here, usually I'm not super into jumping into, to battles, uh, or just really just poking and prodding my way into a battle, I rather prefer to be away from away from them, uh, especially when the enemy team has a seventh Gundam. A seventh Gundam is really powerful against uh, generals, and you know, I mean, you can you can definitely see people going up to them to hit them. But oh yeah, like right here, I'm just messing with this dude. Got an assist. It's a. Uh, it's not wise for a Gapley to get close to one that can stun lock it. But I'm going to, and uh, there's going to be more explosions going around. I'm going to try and hit somebody here, but I keep getting stunned, and explosions keep happening. Uh, I think for the most part, though, Mean Way are pretty much saving this team right now, because uh, number four, he's a decent support, but he ends up shooting us half the time. Number five, this is ace mode, by the way. The ace is going to be that seventh Gundam, and number five doesn't go after him at least once, from what I can see. Also, there's a unit 4 charging up right there. I don't want to go over there. Unfortunately, Wage boosted a little bit too far in. You can see he said oops. So now he has to run back, but unfortunately, I think he's going to get finished off. But, uh, you know what? He picked Mark 2. That's his fault. And <laughs> uh, number 3 is the Gundam, and I hardly seen him this match. The times I do see him, he's dying. So, meanway, we're kind of being the hyper-aggressive and saving our team a little bit. But, you know, they weren't bad. They are were just, you know, okay. Uh, I don't know. The Gundam, for me, doesn't feel like a suit that should be at around 600 cost. I know it's the Gundam, the Granddaddy Gundam, but, man, it's a, it feels rather outdated against a lot of these suits. There's that Unit 4 and the Zeta trying to come over here and mess up the Gundam. I'm going to hide behind a safe, safe distance here behind this rock or wall. All right, they're pushing in. We got to prepare for that. Unfortunately, looks like uh, 
kind of a little bit on the losing side here, outnumbered. I want to try and rush in, get everybody mixed up, I guess. Oh, he's going to do his dodge roll, huh? Well, here comes the uh, old oh, tackle. Oh, man, I thought I was going to get my downswing off, but nope. Neutral swing and uh, get another assist off. Let's see. We, uh, we, well, C was at neutral. Now they captured it. There's the seventh Gundam again. And uh, <laughs> swerved on him a little bit there. Yeah, It's like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not falling for that. I should probably do that a lot more often, but, eh, whatever. And, yeah, he's the ace now, so he's going to do his tackle. All right. Get his side swing off, and uh, we're going to stun him, and then just keep hitting him. And yeah, there's our assist against him. We killed him. Wayland's our uh, ace for this match, and he's going to do pretty good. I saved some kills for him. I think our team does a little bit. Some way is pretty good. Sometimes he'll just get the kill on his own. And I don't know what the fuck just happened there. A lot of shit just hit me. <laughs> I was pretty low on health, so. Mm, there goes Wayland's shield. Zeta's legs are broken. And uh, I believe Wayland's going to get the kill on that man. Yep. And I see uh, number five there who's not going for the ace. So we're going to have to come in and uh, insert ourselves to the situation. <laughs> uh, again, the Fadeen rifle is a pretty good sniping rifle. You can hit from far away. It's so like, there's the ace over there. I guess I just let him know I'm here. So, <laughs> going to go try and protect Wei a little bit. Wait for the ace to jump down, because I know he's going to. He's been doing it for the past few uh, lives he's had. Stun this guy a little bit, and then change my direction to this ace, because I'm not a scared no ace, especially one that doesn't have a dodge roll. And uh, side swing him. Come in for the down swing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, that poor ace. Lost a lot of his health, and he's a support type, too. <laughs> kind of messed him up a little bit. I'm going to come in and uh, stun him again. And this time I'm going to get a counter, sadly. Uh, but you know what? We did a lot of damage to the ace. I'm going to get back up and say, uh, you know what? I'm not done with you yet. Here's this little tiny uh, little dink on you. Now you're dead. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right now, we're totally beating him out in score at the moment. So, <laughs> we've been doing fine, it looks like. And I don't know what that uh, Gerbera Tetra was thinking, doing his downswing all the way from there, but he's going to get countered. I'm going to miss my downswing. Uh, he's not big and bulky, unfortunately. There's that Zeta trying to get to me, but the Unit 4 is going to downswing me. But uh, <laughs> here comes Waylon, unfortunately. Um, he's going to kill their last uh, low health person. And then I'm going to... Hit this guy down. Oh, never mind. I'm going to miss. Forget what I said. I am going to tackle him and uh, destroy. Nope, not destroy his shield. Now it's destroyed. And that means I can go up to him and just melee him. Oh, and he's going to do his dodge roll. God damn it. <laughs> ace. Uh, ace. Way got another ace kill. And, uh, oh, yeah. We completely demolished these this team. And we could have killed this guy. But uh, <laughs> we didn't have enough time. Oh, never mind. I do get the kill. Hell yeah. <laughs> the last kill of the game. Yeah, that was definitely a good work. All that took place in the C uh, point. And I couldn't be happier because it's mountain. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Uh, top damage dealt, which is surprising. Over 10k. In first place with four kills and two deaths. And uh, a hell of a lot of pursuit assist. And uh, my individual score, I got second place with 5,000, which I wasn't even the ace. Which, that's a pretty good score for individual and uh, assist score was pretty high too. Overall, I was doing pretty damn good. And that's what happens when uh, you get a little bit more aggressive. As that's the thing with uh, both Mountain. I always hate playing A side most of the time because it's just that one big choke point. And people just get stuck there. Whether it's your team or the enemy team. Which the enemy team would be fine because you know they're coming from B side. But a, your, your team, they just, they, for the most part, when I play A-side on this map, it's just the same thing where we stay back. We don't rush at all uh, when we need to. And we just get just mowed down or just you know nickel and dimed by the enemy team until we just eventually just rot and die because uh, Mountain is boring. Uh, 
there are times though where we we have gone past that point on a side and we we immediately make this great push we actually had a match with my friends while i was picking the uh i picked the zaku one sniper i have that one recorded too and uh we pushed forward like we weren't scared of anything we just moved forward on c and uh we took it and we lay down a lot of pressure on the uh the enemy team and they couldn't handle it and uh um, this 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 was a very rare match to have because not only was I doing extremely well and I got first place and top damage too. I never usually get top damage, uh, but also because both teams were simultaneously just moving to C and just engaging, which that never happens for the most part on Mountain. It's always one team uh, rushes forward, the other team plays super defensive, and it's just a one big stalemate. Uh, but yeah, this was a really, really fun match. Even though I died a couple of times and I did some really stupid stuff that would usually make me go, Wow, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, be extra salty, I guess. Uh, this match was it was really fun to play, and uh, I was surprised I got first place. I honestly thought Whalen was going to run away with it because he was the ace and he got so many kills. He was doing very good as an ace. Um, and that's, you know, what you got to do as the ace is you go after those low health people and you kill them. Uh, and as my job, I went to go fuck over the, uh, the enemy ace. I prevented him from even shooting at other people. He looked at me and only me. And um, that's what you got to do sometimes as a uh, non-ace general is uh actually just uh, if you're the not if you're not the ace is just go after the enemy ace and just obliterate him destroy any allies that are defending him and kill that ace as fast as you can or at least get the close get close to his killing him as possible and have the your ace come in and finish off the weakened uh enemies and that's how that's how you win ace it <laughs> it sounds really simple and uh, sometimes it's not as simple, but yeah, it's as long as you can follow those principles, you'll do really good in ace match. And I'm I'm still surprised we did that well in the mountain without anybody just turtling at the end. And yeah, it's the end of this video. And if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe if you want. I'd really appreciate it. And you know, uh, type up in the comment section what you feel about the the gap flee. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Uh, I, I love this suit. It's still like on my top 10 list to play. It's excellent in every sense of the word. Uh, it, yeah, it's just, it feels really good to play, especially if you're a fan of combo suits. It, it just feels magnificent. <laughs> uh, and if you noticed, I kind of got a little bit of a new paint scheme going on. It, uh, it's the... If you remember my uh, Aqua Vengeance video, I was talking about how I added a little bit of an effect at his feet and the shoulders. I kind of went with that with this uh, Gapley, if you noticed, around his uh, leg area. And it looked alright. I thought it looked alright. Yeah. I think that's going to be it, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.